All right, guys, so me and Leo just came to the middle of nowhere, North Carolina. Basically, it was about a 30 minute drive from Charlotte to a place called Kannapolis. And here, there's a collectibles card store. Now, they do have Black Friday stuff going on. I even think there is some Pokemon stuff. Make sure everybody subscribes to my brother's football channel, Leo Sports Cards. At Leo Sports Cards. Oh, here's all the Pokemon. Oh, they got like a lot here. Holy crap. Whoa. This is insane. This is a super old box right there with a mat too. And then there's the same deal right here. Don't know what that is either. What this is about, but there's a Sizor EX box. Do you get evolutions? Okay, so this guy, check this out. The Megarnia. You can tell there's, it looks like two packs of evolutions and a whole lot of hollows. This is definitely going to be worth it just for these promo cards and the evolutions. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to do, uh, let me get box number one. All right, the one up top here. That's the one I was looking at. Perfect. Give it me for 55. She's going to look at it for 50, so I've told everybody else. Now I'll take it for 50. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Collector's album, 60 cards. I'm definitely going to see what this is about right here. He's running, dude. He's doing his ninja run. Oh, you're gonna get which one? Illusions football has the encased four, three autos and one encased autograph. And they go for how much, Leo? Three fifty. All right, it's all yours, buddy. Yeah. That's sick. Appreciate it. Illusions, right there. That is crazy, dude. There's two packs of generations in there. Like what? All right, guys. Well, we just went ahead and did the damage at the card store. Literally spent twelve hundred bucks. It was worth it. Leo got a really expensive football set. Yeah, I got a nice box, a nice Illusions box. I'm very excited to rip. Hell yeah. Just a ton of things for the Pokemon channel. So you guys know we're already going to do the haul. So we are back home now in my house. And shout out to my brother's sports card channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to subscribe. He does football openings exclusively. So what we have today is a ton of Pokemon packs that I bought from this card store. I spent about 1200 bucks total, but I bought him like a $400 box of football cards. So this is maybe like $800 total in Pokemon stuff. And because it was like a retail comic book store, he had some stuff from like 2016 that I basically got at retail cost, like maybe five bucks over. And I think that's honestly a great deal. So let's jump into this stuff. We're definitely gonna open up some boxes here on the video today, but this is certainly a haul. And you'll see all this product on its own videos, you know, when I open them up exclusively for their own videos. So with that being said, let's talk about what's in this first box. This is sort of an interesting one, and I'm gonna put it up close to the camera because maybe you guys can tell the discoloration is very interesting on these uh, on these cards. These are Dragon Majesty packs, which this is actually a very expensive set, and he sold it to me for retail, and uh, actually ten dollars under retail because he had it in the front of his display, like where the sun hits it in the glass casing, and it just basically got completely destroyed, whited out entirely. The coloring, as you can see, it's like yellow up top. It's completely faded. And uh, the packs themselves and the cards are protected inside, but these promo cards, probably not worth too much in their discolored con uh, condition. I would probably try and grade them though, see what PSA says about that. That'd be very interesting. Definitely gonna open this up on its own video just because of how old this thing is. I think it's from, yeah, 2018. So this is almost two years old, three years old at this point. And then also in that same bag, we have a Sizor EX box. This was made in 2000. It looks like 16 with some very old packs in it. Evolutions, Fates Collide, Sun and Moon, and Steam Siege. Uh, this is going to be another exciting one to open up for the channel on its own video. Or I just may open it today, seeing what have, whatever I have. I'm going to have to decide mid-recording what I'm going to open up. I think I might open uh, these Silvali boxes. So let me just show you guys those real quick. Here's the Silvali boxes. So inside, there's going to be three packs. And these were on sale for Black Friday. So I was also getting an extra pack for buying this right here. So it's like a sword and shield pack, but we have evolutions in it. And I think I'm going to go ahead, and open up these two boxes today on the video. So we'll put them off to the side and we'll keep looking through some stuff. Maybe open up one more thing just because of how much stuff I got. And next up, oh, this one's exciting. Actually, this is very exciting. This right here is like a retail set of collector's album uh, cards. So this Burning Shadows collector's album set is basically going to be a retail bundle of like a pack of promo packs and stuff like that with a little binder. It's not like I had to buy each binder separately. This is just a whole retail case. Very cool. Here are those two packs that we got for buying those Silvali boxes. So let's go ahead, open these up right quick. 
have a first little opening break in the video. And uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. It really, really, really means a ton that you guys have been supporting the channel. And I'm trying to support as much as I can, go as hard as I can on these. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I did four. I did four and pulled a Mori Pico VMAX. Dude, from a freaking free booster pack. Yo, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So, okay, guys, what I was saying, oh my goodness, it, before I got a little interrupted there. <laughs> the 10,000 subscribers special opening is going to be happening on the channel when I get the product in. I ordered some 2008 booster boxes that were from my childhood, the cards that I showed you in my childhood collecting video. That's the stuff that I'm going to be opening up on camera. So it's going to be another week maybe before I get them in the mail. And I'm just very excited to show you guys because that's a set that I got when I was a kid. And now we're going to open it up as, you know, an adult. Check out that Mori Pico, yo. Woo! Fire. There's the Rhyhorn Reverse Hollow from the Sword and Shield pack. My goal for 2021 is 250,000 subscribers for the Pokemon channel. I'd love to make that happen. And I know that can happen if I'm uploading five times a week. I'm going to make an upload schedule and I'm going to let you guys know every video, when to watch, when to tune in. So you'll get that very soon. I've been teasing that I'm going to have that information for you guys. But until I do have it, just keep watching the videos. Make sure your post notifications are on. And uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. So with that being said, let's open up this second Sword and Shield free pack that we got. And let's see if there's going to be any good pulls in this one as well. We got a freaking VMAX in the last one. Rillaboom Reverse Hollow with an Inteleon non-holographic. Next up, we got a Team Skull pin collection. So this is from the year 2017, and it's got a, a lot of great packs in it. Evolutions, Burning Shadows, a couple great ones. So we're going to make this its own video, and we're going to crack this open when we get there. And then up next, we have a Magurnia Mythical Collection. This came out in 2017 as well. A ton of old packs. I'm just so lucky to have gotten this stuff for like five bucks over retail because online, I mean, I don't even know what they're selling for brand new, but you know, having them is just what matters. So finding them, the exclusivity, and just being able to add them, bring them home. It's a different feeling than just going online and buying it, you know? Now we also have another ginormous box. This is an Islands Guardian GX box. And this inside, has a playmat in the back, some evolutions packs. This is another serious opening right here. Gonna be its own video for sure. I'm sure a lot of you guys would love some throwback content, especially because this stuff is now three years old and I'm sure maybe you guys weren't collecting three years ago. I got back into it this year. So this stuff would be just fun to open and add these cards to the collection. Then right here we have an Ultra Beasts GX premium collection. This again is gonna be from what? 2017, just a ton of different old packs. And this is a lot of great stuff. We're going to get into it on its own video. And I think, what, what pack is that back there? I can't even tell. This is going to have some gold, though, for sure, man. Couldn't help myself. We had to add some pops to the collection. So we got the Boruto Uzumaki. Haven't checked out the Boruto anime yet. I've only been stuck on just not watching it. I'm like, I'm going to watch it, and I just haven't yet. Next, we have a Master Chief Halo. Right here, we have Sasuke. And in this bag, we have Tsunade. And then we also got another booster box. This right here is the Darkness Ablaze booster box. I'm trying to get as many of these as I can for the channel. I'm going to probably do some live break openings for these so you guys can buy a pack or two and I'll open it up on camera in a live stream. I've done it before two times and it went really well. Actually, three times I did it. All three times it went really well. I just haven't got back to that. So I need to get product to make sure I can have them for the openings and this is going to be one of them. So we'll just put it right. Nope, we'll put it down here. Now, this is just a side little object, but we have a Jimi Hendrix uh, little doll. So that is just, I don't know, very nice action figure. I like Jimi Hendrix music. Yeah, this was my receipt. This is how much I paid for everything. Some more pops. This one is probably my favorite pop now in my collection. This is the Spider-Man versus Spider-Man pop. It's literally a meme. They made the comic book image that is just a meme on the internet into a pop and i think that is just one of the funniest things that they could have done and i think it was 30 bucks it was pretty inexpensive as far as a double pop scenario goes like this and i feel like it could have some value in the future then right here we also have a play mat this is a charizard play mat so i might put this down in the next episode and uh, just reorganize the desk a little bit and you guys may see a little bit of an updated setup 
Here we have a mythical pin collection and inside we have generations packs. Very, very old and I'm gonna make this its own opening. Absolutely, just because that's like a, a whoa. Generations, I've never even seen those packs before. Here we had to add a vivid voltage booster box to the collection. This is gonna be either a something I open or just something I hold on to and sell it in the future. But I'm gonna put it right here, right next to the Darkness Ablaze. And then for another pop, we have just Naruto Uzumaki from the Shippuden series. He's actually doing his little anime run in the background, if you guys can see that, which is basically a meme as well. So two meme pops. And oh, what's what's this? This is a box for a Blazonary chain? That's right, you guys can get now a Blazonary chain, the plus 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 rep the positivity. That's on the Pokeball as well, the little logo. So you guys can get one at blazonary.com. Thank you for all the love and support on the holiday orders. So that's the haul. Now let's break it down and check out this box of cards. What packs we're gonna open today on this opening? Let's go ahead and check it out. Right here we have a Silvali. Now I'm not sure if this is a legendary to be honest with you, but it's Sun and Moon promo number 64. Very nice holographic. And the promo card is, of course, got some damage on the bottom corners. That's just, you know, typical. We'll put this in a sleeve and get it in our Sun and Moon promo area. Now, we also have the Jumbo card. So, this is the Silvalli GX Jumbo, and it's as big as my head. I'll keep this off to the side in my Jumbo card area. And here we go. Here's the three packs. And, oh, man, it's going to have that Evolutions. So I'm very excited. But check this out, guys. We have a code card right there so that's the sil valley box code card now let's get open first sun and moon i'd love to also announce too that on blazonarypokemon.com we are going to be selling a lot of the bulk and the extra cards that i have from my openings so if you guys are interested in like some mystery boxes gx singles some good pulls psa stuff etc make sure you stay tuned because that's going to be on blazonarypokemon.com and you can keep up with that by following blazonary pokemon on instagram so thanks for all the love and support on my social medias with that being said, let's keep it going and get the pulls underway. I'm excited, yo. We got this Evolutions up next. I just, uh, you know, no, no, no. We're going to save it. We're going to save it. Crimson Invasion. We'll do Crimson Invasion. This is not the one with the Charizard, but uh, that's, ooh, that's okay. We're going to have something good here. Maybe a Hollow. Hopefully a GX. Is it a, uh, yes. Okay. I always get concerned if I don't have the right energy or like if I pull the GX like you saw with the Mori Pico. It's just uh, not fun. <laughs> So here we go, we got the Mankey, the Cubone Reverse Hollow, and on the end, it's gonna be an Xerneas Holographic. I've actually pulled this Xerneas a couple times from my Sun and Moon single pack openings. So this is gonna be one of those cards we'll have for sale on BlazonaryPokemon.com. Practically the whole pack. And here we go, that last pack, the Evolutions. This has been the craziest set of the year, and my highlight of the year has definitely been buying the boxes, the Evolutions booster boxes at such a great price. So that being said, let's get it underway. I think it's three to the front, no energy. Maybe? I think, oh, we got the flying Pikachu secret rare. Let's go. Yo, that is gonna be something we sleeve. These things, I'm not sure how they're doing as far as value goes, but if the whole set is doing numbers, I'm going to imagine now all the secret rares are also gonna do numbers. And I'll even get this one graded just because I don't think I have any flying Pikachus that are about to get graded yet. Apologies, everybody. I did not realize as well that my uh, camera died while recording. So thank you to the backup camera. Appreciate y'all. Here we go. Coughing. Let's start it. Continuing with the evolutions. Poliwag. A seal. Let's see. We have a Magikarp. An energy. A Caterpie. A Poliwrath. Reverse hollow. And a Doug Trio. Damn, I've seen that Doug Trio one too many times. So now, guys, we still have our final Sil Valley GX box. So let's go ahead, break it down, and get into it. This is probably going to be another instance of where I'm going to mention BlazonaryPokemon.com. We are going to go ahead and sell this Sil Valley promo right here because we've already gotten one on my personal collection, so now it's gonna be one for the website. And then we're gonna sell the Sil Valley GX Jumbo. Here is the promo card for the box. So let's start it off. We got the Sun and Moon regular base set. Here we go, wish your boy luck. There's our code card, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, I think. And yeah, there we go. So let's break it down. We got the Granbull, Metapod, Team Skull Grunt, a Fomantis, Cosmog, Rog and Rolla, a Sandy Gast, Caterpie, a Potion Reverse Hollow, and a Lantern for the non-holographic rare. Next up, we have this Crimson Invasion. 
Let's break it down. These packs, they open up like butter. It's so nice. I wish all of them opened this nicely. Oh, there's the code card. And here we go. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's start it off. We got the Metal Energy, a Asaglore, Counter Energy, Fighting Memory, a Cubone. We got a Mankey, a Sandalit, a Spoink, Kara Blast, a Starly Reverse Hollow, and the end card is going to be a Reggie Gigas holographic yo this thing actually does not have too much holographic shine so kind of stinks that it's on one of my favorite pokemon of all time but we are going to absolutely take that hollow foil and for the final pack of the opening wish me luck guys smash that like button we have the evolutions booster pack so let's break it down hopefully we get maybe a secret rare a rare hollow something there's the code card and one two three to the front yep i think that's right okay here we go we have the poly world to start it off brock's grit metapod a tangela we have ratata weedle voltorb poliwag electabuzz reverse hollow and a b drill man mm, i want to rip it I want to rip it, but it's not gonna be uh, not gonna be worth ripping. So, guys, what did you think of the haul? What did you think of all the cards that we pulled? There were some great ones. There were some interesting sets we got, and there's a lot of great things we have to look forward to in the upcoming videos. So, make sure you guys go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite pack or card was from this series, and I'll see you guys again with another opening tomorrow. It's your boy Blazer and Pokemon signing out. Stay positive and peace out.